If you're looking for mutt coins to upgrade your mutt game, go to GameRusher.com for cheap and safe mutt coins. You can use my discount code HUB, H-U-B, at the website. Use the first link in the description down below and get that upgrade to your game. Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at again with another Giants video. This is going to be kind of a quick one, just really off the top of my head, off the top of my dome. Uh, very minimally edited video. I want to talk about off-season stuff real quick. Because right now for the Giants, obviously, we're performing well. I mean, throughout the entire season, we've been well. We've been a team that actually competes and performs well. A lot of the reason that we're doing so good though is because of guys that might be gone after this year. Guys that we need to either re-sign or lock up somehow at the end of this season. In this offseason, there's a couple of dudes that I think the Giants definitely should try. It, I shouldn't say try, but they should definitely just lock up and keep on the team right now. And you know, two of them that come to mind immediately, I was just literally sitting down randomly thinking it popped into my head, Leonard Williams and Logan Ryan. So let's start off with Logan Ryan first because, you know, obviously Logan Ryan won us that game against Washington. The Giants were slowly, slowly slipping in the fourth quarter. We got that pick by Jabril Peppers to save us and then we couldn't do anything. And then we got the game winning pick by Logan Ryan. Did it for his wife. Did it for, you know, sadly, rest in peace to Logan Ryan's child that, uh, you know, basically passed away. I think it was a miscarriage or something along those lines. Logan Ryan came through with the pick the game winning pick and he saved us and he's been performing well for the giants throughout the entire season they've been using him as a stopgap safety at times because obviously Xavier mckinney is out who is our projected starting free safety and that's going to be something interesting to look at they have him rotating at free safety and playing in the slot cornerback role and then when xavier mckinney comes back i think this is really going to determine how the giants approach keeping logan ryan now i know everybody wants him to stay including myself but one thing we have to look at is that if McKinney comes back and McKinney is what he was projected to be, which is the best safety out of the 2020 draft class, then we have no need for a stop guy free safety because McKinney's there. And then Logan Ryan would be kind of relegated to the slot cornerback role. And if he's that, I mean, I think he'll do fine. That's basically the position he's played his entire career. Then what are we doing with Darnay Holmes, though? You know, Darnay Holmes was somebody we'd hope would develop. He's still a rookie, so he still has room to grow. Do we completely stop his growth or do we plug Logan Ryan in there? Either way, in my opinion, I don't think you could really go wrong, but now here's where it comes up. Cap space and contract. We signed Logan Ryan, and I have it pulled up here. I'm on overcap.com. To that one year, six and a half million dollar deal with um one 1.05 million guaranteed. I think 3.95 million of it is in prorated bonus. I'm just reading the breakdown here on overcap.com. And so basically he's on that $6.5 million deal. What are we signing him back to? Because when we signed Logan, this was technically a cheap contract compared to what he was supposed to get. He was one of the big ticket, big name cornerback free agents in the market. And once again, I just got to say, I love the fact that somehow, someway, the Giants got two of the biggest names in the cornerback free agency market in Bradbury and Ryan. But this is technically a cheap contract for what we got him for because nobody wanted him. He, he came to us because I'm pretty sure the New York Giants were the only team knocking and the only team that was going to give him what he wanted. And we, we kind of did. So that breaks the question. What are we going to sign him to? Is it going to be something like this? Are we looking at basically another six and a half, seven million dollar a year deal for maybe three years or so? Is that too much? Is that too little? Is that just right? I'm going to leave that up to you guys to decide. I think it might be just a little too much because we're looking at the New York Giants cast space in 2021. Once again, according to overthecap.com, we just got $22.5 million in cap space. Uh, a big reason for it being such a low number is obviously because of COVID. Um, for this season, you know, it's no secret that the NFL lost a lot of money. To make that up, they had to borrow money from future cap spaces. And that's what it is right now. It, a part, another part of the reason is because this past offseason was the offseason where the Giants had a lot of money and we did spend it. We spent it smartly, which is what, you know, we give the Giants credit for. They spent it smartly, but it was still spending the money. You know, you talk about signing Bradbury, Martinez, Fackrell, a bunch of other smaller name free agents, you know, Logan Ryan himself included. 
we did spend that money so how much are we giving logan ryan if we're giving him a six and a half seven million dollar deal bam right there that that cuts that cap space down to around 15 mil and then are we even signing anybody else because i would think they would want to enter the season once again with 10 million available to spend in season just like we did this year and we saw that it helped us out this year we did make signings during the season especially to the wide receiving core so what are we doing here you know what i'm saying and then another person in leonard williams i brought up his name as well who's been having in my opinion his best year by far in the nfl he's currently on pace to finish with 10 sacks and you could only think that somehow, some way, Patrick Graham figured out a way to tap into this guy potential. And Leonard Williams is having an absolute year. He is our best pass rusher this far. Um, through the first eight weeks of the season, not only was he our best pass rusher, best defensive lineman, best defensive player, but he was the best overall player for the Giants, graded through the first eight weeks by uh, Pro Football Focus. So Leonard Williams is having just an absolute day. Of course, he's looking for a big contract. And the thing is, you would want to resign Leonard Williams. Um, I've been on record for most of the season, especially in, in the past few weeks when I started to realize, oh my God, he's having such a good season. I've been starting to say I would re-sign Leonard Williams over re-signing Dalvin Tomlinson, who of course is the other person. You could throw his name in here. That is coming up on a contract year that we're either going to re-sign or let go in this offseason uh, with Dalvin Tomlinson. Him and, of course, Evan Ingram, but we already got Evan Ingram on the fifth-year contract, as sad as that is. But between the two, I don't think anybody would argue that Leonard Williams is the better player. He is the better pass rusher for sure, and he is just as effective in the run game. Now, he does play a different position. Dalvin is, you know, strictly a nose tackle, but when you think about letting go Dalvin as well, filling that in is much easier than filling in the role of Leonard Williams. If you let go of Dalvin, you sign Williams, you just slide Dexter Lawrence over to the nose tackle, and bam you're set dexter is already bigger than dalvin and dexter also has more pass rushing ability than dalvin so it's just a better player you know a more versatile player in that position right there and hey for all you know you got him better protection uh, i said protection you're getting better protect production out of that my tongue is twisting right now and then the person that would step up from Dexter's former place at defensive tackle going to nose tackle would be BJ Hill, who's also been having a little bit of a resurging year in his third year here. Um, whenever he's getting snaps, he's doing pretty well. He's he's getting pressures every now and then. You see him in the backfield every now and then. And based off his rookie year, we do know that BJ Hill has a pass rushing presence within him. The same thing with Leo, however, is what are we signing him to because Leonard Williams before the season began was looking for a 20 million dollar a year contract two things obviously he's not worth that money and obviously the Giants don't have that money to give to him you know what I'm saying so what are we signing Leonard Williams to I personally think he's worth somewhere between I'd say maybe 13 and 16 million dollars I would be fine with giving him a contract between those numbers right there that I think that matches him perfectly and even then it's like they're gonna have to figure out a way to structure it because for this upcoming year in 2021 you can't give him 13, you know, which is the lower end. You can't give him 13 mil because that cuts the Giants down to 9 million available cap space left. Now, that being said, all this could just be me overthinking and worrying about nothing because this, this, this cap space number could really drastically change by the time the offseason comes around. We're talking about maybe the Giants cut some players and that frees up a little bit. You got to think about the dead cap as well, though. Maybe they somehow, some way find a trade partner for Golden Tate and that would free up some money. I think that would probably free up, you know, maybe five million dollars right there. Maybe they find a trade partner as much as I don't want them to because he's our best offensive lineman. But maybe they say we have faith in the duo of Shane Lemieux and Will Hernandez. They find a trade partner for Kevin Zeitler and that frees up money. There's a lot of ways they could kind of finagle their way into figuring out how to, you know, figure out money. Of course, the same goes for Denver Ingram. Maybe they, they find a trade partner for him. Uh, maybe they just cut some guys and there's more cap space available. But the two guys that are helping this team perform right now and that are taking this, this defense to a new level in Williams in Logan Ryan, both of them, in my opinion, need to be back next year to get this defense to continue to perform the way it is and even to perform better. The question is, is it realistic? Is it going to happen? What are we signing them to? I just want to get this out there to you guys. Let me know what you think. Put your thoughts down below. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I spend way too much time thinking about the Giants because I was watching some regular show and it popped into my mind. That's it for now. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.